radio live from Kiev, and we are here now with a band from Latvia, Triana Power. It's on uh, live. Hi, Hi. guys. Hi, Hi, guys. Whoa, I love those glasses. Oh. <laughs> Um, you must know that you have a, every contestant has a page on the official Eurovision.tv site. And there is one sentence about you, there's a profile about you, with information about you, promotional information, and it says uh, the most important aspect about the band is that they love yeah. food. Yeah. So I wonder if the next 10 minutes or 5 minutes we will talk about food. So what, 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 what? He was speaking about food just like 2 minutes ago. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so, so, so what is that? Is this a joke? Or? No, it's not a joke. No, it's not a joke. It's reality. <laughs> It's, uh, the struggle is real. We are really hungry and all these interviews and uh, all this uh, routine during Eurovision is pretty harsh and uh, we really need to plan our time so we can get food and we like to eat. So The last time I ate like was at 7 a.m. So it's, so it's here, about time. Yeah, it's like uh, seven hours. <laughs> like what? I need some food. Man. Well, before you get something, we should talk about something else. Well, for you guys, uh, your origin is not a whole new concept. You have participated in the Latvian selection a couple of times. Um, for bands, actually, in Eurovision, it's not quite so easy. I don't know if you're aware of that. Uh, it's yeah, so it's so weird. Yeah, like we're the sing like we're the only band in the both semifinals. It's like really, really. But it's weird. cool. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Actually, the only band, well, okay, there was ABBA in the 70s, but in the recent years there was only Nordi who won yeah. from Finland, uh, there was a band, but other than that, uh, it's difficult. So is it something, well, obvious it's nothing that would hinder you to come to Eurovision. <laughs> so um, what what brings you to Eurovision? Mm -hmm. So it's a song, and uh, Latvia is a small country, so we have to use every possible platform where we can uh, promote ourselves, what we do, the culture, the the, um, the different ways where we can expand. So um, Eurovision is one of them and it's the most uh, biggest one and we want to uh, use it and to show people that all the production what you see on the stage is Latvian made, the music, the design, the FX on the screens, everything was produced in Latvia. So we just want to uh, people to know that what we, we are doing. Yeah, what we are doing and that we can create stuff and uh, that we are here. And if I'm not mistaken, this song was not especially written. Yeah, it wasn't. So it's, it's it's the radio airplay what made me think that hey, it works well on the radio. It's a it's a hit. It's a, it's, it's being really well received in Latvia and Estonia as well. And uh, the next step is uh, Eurovision, so I hope the Eurovision listeners and watcher viewers are gonna are gonna be in line with us. You know? When and they're gonna like our park and they want to take this walk in our park. Winning a national selection is one thing, and then it's, it's a big step to take the step to the international contest. Yeah. And there is always the moment when you have to sit down and think, okay, do we have to? do something special on stage, how can we, these three minutes, we must nail it. So, you have a concept, did you change anything? Um, yeah, well, it's it's right with you are telling about the concept of three minutes. It's a really a pressure, for, especially for a band that puts on a show for an hour or more. And those three minutes are like, oh my god, I have to like show everybody the best side of me. But we actually are not changing anything uh, much. I think uh, it's the energy and it's the concept. We just uh, uh, made everything more bigger. Yeah, more we just expanded ourselves more. That's yeah. it. We can't actually change ourselves. We are who we are, and we just do what we do on the basic uh, level every day in Latvia. So, so uh, in Latvia, in pre-selection, there was no like big screens on the background, yeah. so we didn't focus on, uh, on the yeah, effect design. Yeah. So but when, now we, when we, we saw the big stage, we started doing uh, <laughs> Actually, I was like so uh, mesmerized when I first saw the stage, when I stepped on the stage for the first time. I was like, oh my god, Chris, can you believe this? Because everything looks so beautiful. The stage looks beautiful and our team, our delegates, they were uh, watching the, the rehearsal and uh, and my assistant, he cried, you know, because it's a big deal for us and uh, if Latvia uh, will win, uh, it's going to be major, major for Latvia to, to bring Eurovision home and uh, it's going to be a big honor to win. 
And the song's the first single, as what I read, uh, from an upcoming album. So yeah. the question is, is there already? Uh, you have several songs already, or when would it come out? Yeah, well, they are in process of recording, and uh, everything that's concerning Eurovision takes a lot of time, so uh, it's a bit stealing our energy, and we can't like really focus on recording stuff. <laughs> like two days before we had to leave to Kiev, and Kirsten Chris, they were going to a studio recording drums for the, the, the tunes, and it's um, a bit stressful. So we have we want to win the Eurovision, go back home, and record an album. Thank you. Do you have a few words about the style? Because for most of Europe, you're a new name, and they're the first time you hear the song live. How typical is live for for the music? Not that I would recommend people to uh, to Spotify. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There is like we have trap songs, we have pop songs, yeah. you know, uh, more slower, and then like I don't know, Iron Groove is kind of uh, electronic. Uh, Dark, uh, dark yeah, pop what? song, but I think everybody can get their cup of tea if you like really search our music and everybody can find something relatable. I guess so. I hope so. <laughs> okay, cool. So, so in this interview, can we have a piece of your song? Yes, yeah, sure. Okay. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you. Uh, thanks for this and good luck for the competition. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.